So I'm really bad at speeches. So I just wrote some stuff down that <coughs> was a couple nights ago that I wrote down. Um, so I'm just going to read off of that. Um, let's start with that. So there was a lot of things that I will miss about homeschool life, and there was a lot of memories that I made and I will cherish forever. I loved building teepees with Gigi and Grammy. I loved going on all the amazing field trips to museums and aquariums and zoos and observatories. And I remember the forts that we went to and the awesome history classes that we had. I remember learning history with dad as this one. I remember learning history with dad as that is one of his passions. He was in charge of teaching us that subject and he taught us about the Civil War and the Louisiana Purchase and all, all those big, all the big ones out there. Um, sorry. <laughs> I remember mom helped me with my love of science by taking us to the Omaha Zoo and others. She helped me set up with my first job at the vets and spraying thistle out in the pastures, which is something that I do enjoy. <laughs> I've seen some pretty awesome things through mom and dad. Mom always took me to the library and let me read whatever science books I fancy. I read a lot of ones with the ocean, marine life, um, as well as wildlife and biology. Mom and dad taught me both. Mom and dad sat through and taught me a lot of math and a lot of fights through math because that was my hardest subject. Um, they were patient with me when I broke down and I had a fit or I was crying and frustrated because I couldn't understand. They were both very patient and loving and kind towards me with that. I also remember all the fun we had raising animals and uh, excuse me, raising horses and milking goats and how they taught us to have a really good work ethic and to care for animals and people all around. I remember reading on top of my horse's back for school hours as I let her wander around, around, around our yard. Um, I remember campfires at night and sitting on the porch watching storms with the family and having movie nights or game nights. And when we weren't doing school or mom wasn't giving us lessons or dad wasn't letting us watch documentaries, we were... <coughs> exploring creeks or we had wooden swords all four of us kids would sword fight um, we would wrestle we would go count how many frogs we could catch we would play games outside like hide and seek where we'd build a fort every week um, we'd go for family walks we'd go out in the country just for a drive we'd go walk at night looking at the Milky Way and Mom and Dad, my brothers, really did give me a lot, and I'm so thankful for us. Then the high school hit, and it was just us, Josh and I, left. School became more difficult, and more arguments rose over math. It got a lot more tough. But we did it, though. Mom and Dad were always willing to help me and find ways to teach that suited me and Josh's, our learning styles. And late. There were long days sometimes, but they were still there and still are loving and kind for us and always will be there for us. Often I'd have mom or dad teach me a different method than what I was learning because they understood that I learned in specific ways. And they've always been very good with explaining things for me when I didn't understand, especially in school. 
school or dad with history. Mom gave me my love of reading and dad my love of the outdoors. Dad taught us how to work hard and work well and mom taught us how to always work for audience and one and to love others unconditionally. They both taught us about God and the Bible and to work hard and willingly. With mom and dad's help and guidance, I learned to ride a bike, drive a car, <laughs> clean house, buy groceries and all the daily essentials of life. I learned to stand up for myself, to talk not to just act tough, to be tough when life gets hard. It taught me how to look out for myself and help me gain confidence and try new things. And that they will always Dad, especially, <laughs> and my three brothers will always chase away any boy or any person that comes knocking at the door. It'll be a hard one. <laughs> and I am so thankful that I have had a strong, caring, and smart, loving brothers to be there with me through some really hard times that I've had growing up and to help me when mom and dad were not there to help me if they were busy at work. All this was going through my mind the past week, and especially as I sat down a couple days ago to write this. And it really hit me just how much mom and dad, as well as my bros, taught me, and how much I, how much that I have to be thankful for. And I want to say that I love you guys so much. And I'm so thankful that you guys have always been there for me. I want to say thank you for choosing to homeschool us.